Hello, Shady Golds. I hope you are having a nice morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are or when you are watching this video. And I hope you achieved everything you wanted to achieve in season four because we are getting to the end of it. So everybody is focusing on season five and the cards in the new map and whatnot, but we still have some time. So if you still wanna grind rank points or boost your storage value, you can still do that. You're gonna have the rush mode as well, if I'm not mistaken. When it comes to goals, I have some bittersweet feelings regarding goals because I set some goals for myself. I wanted to reach 25 million storage value. It's not gonna work because I keep spending money on stuff like experimenting with guns. Uh, so I don't care about that anymore. And the second goal was to reach legend 50 stars. And I realized this season that I could achieve that, but it's like, like a, a constant grind. I'm not that good that I just simply play the game and I keep, you know, increasing my rank. I really need to focus in order to gain rank points and I also would need to play in good loadouts. And I don't always do that. For example, I've been playing multiple games with shotgun on TV station. So I'm not gonna go for the legend 50 stars, but I don't mind actually because that's not the main profile, not the main focus of my channel. I don't wanna be like a superstar. I wanna enjoy the game. I wanna give you tips and tutorials. I wanna have fun guys and and besides that, slowly but surely improving in the game. And I also wanted to be a bit more pushy, become a bit more pushy in this season. So that's kind of the reason I play tons of TV station. And the learning for me is that I definitely improved. So regardless of my loadout, usually I have one, two, three, or even more kills but usually I die. So that's kind of the downside of being pushy. So even if I have kills, I, I keep dying. And I had such a session like recently where I did like, I don't know, 20 TV station games and I died 20 times in a row. And that's where I, I, I just wanted to do something else and hop to Northridge, lockdown, you know, a chill run, just heading into the hotel, opening the safes. And this is, this is the recording you see now on screen. This is literally, I would say, my most successful Northridge lockdown game in terms of kills, because I did seven kills in this one single game and I was playing solo. I mean, I was queuing up with randoms, but they didn't come to the hotel. So I was entering the hotel alone and I had seven kills. And I'm somewhat proud because I could apply some of the things I've been practicing and, and basically put them into action and, and it worked. The focus of this video is repositioning, peaking, relocating yourself. And I know, I know, before you start spamming the comment section that I've been killing Timmy's, Yes, these were not T5 chats, but, but I still feel I did the right thing as a solo player on how to like hold my angles, how to reposition myself, how not to push if there is, you know, no chance to survive. And while watching the whole thing, I want you to focus on that part of my gameplay, okay, that peaking repositioning and such. This is what kept me alive and this is what I want you to evaluate. And if you get into such a situation, then hopefully by watching this, you're gonna learn something, you're gonna remember something, and then that thing is gonna be triggered if you get into that situation. And maybe you're gonna have also more success on Northridge or basically any of the other maps. But the main message is that if you peek somewhere or if you know that there's an enemy, then you need to do the kill. But if you don't do the kill, then reposition yourself, put yourself again into a better position because if you are the one scoping and monitoring like a specific corner, then you are going to be the one doing the headshot. If the enemy is holding that angle and you are going to be the one peeking, then you are going to be the one who dies. And I'm not saying that all of the kills were perfect, but out of the seven kills, I would say five were by the book. I did it how it should be done. So hopefully this recording is gonna help you. And on top, I even found a teapot 
which made me extract with more than 800,000 again from Northridge. So message for all those who watched my Northridge uh, looting guide. Yes, you can definitely find red items on Northridge. So I still feel that this is the best, the safest way to farm red items to go to Northridge Hotel. It's more safe than TV station or armory and you have all of the safes in one place. Let me know in the comment section if this type of playstyle is close to your heart. And of course, shoot, look, subscribe and see you in the next one. Shady out.